Okay, this is a uh, video about the definition of functions, and we're going to start with the definition of the function itself. It's basically a special relation. It's a special case of a relation where no different ordered pairs have the same x value. Another way to say it is each input or x value has only one individual output. Okay, so one x value cannot have two y values or multiple y values. Okay, so there's the definition. Uh, again, no input should have multiple outputs. That is, no uh, independent variables should have multiple outputs. So if we look at the two relations below uh, these set of ordered pairs, um, just look and see, number one, can you identify the domain? Number two, can you identify the range? And number three, can you identify whether or not it is a function? Go ahead and do that. Pause the video right now and go ahead and do that. And then uh, I'll put the answers up. So here are your solutions. Uh, you can see uh, really quickly here that the domain is one, two, three, four, five. Um, the range is two, three, four. And then even though two different inputs have the same output, that is okay. All right, because one input doesn't have multiple outputs. Okay, so it is a function. This is your domain. This is your range. Now, um, the domain over here is 1, 2, and 3, the range 2, 3, 4, 5. It is not a function simply because 2, 3, and 2, 4, that is an input that has two outputs. If you have two outputs and then 1, 4, and 1, 5, 1 has two outputs and um, the input of 2 also has two outputs. So since these two different points, okay, two different ordered pairs have the same x value, it is not a function. Geometrically, we can look at a set of ordered pairs like I have here on the right, and you can do a vertical line test, which uh, I think most of you have seen before. So all you need to do is just go along to the sets of points, and if you cross more than one point at any given x value, then that, func that uh, relation is not a function. So give it a try here, and then we'll come back in a second. So I went ahead and drew up the vertical lines here, and we can see that right here that if you go down all these points and you got to go to from negative infinity to infinity and assume that you're testing every single point in that relation that there's only one point here this this value where you had four um, seven and four negative three this fails the vertical line test therefore this is not a function so when you see a picture of a function, you can immediately test whether, or of a relation, I should say, you can immediately test whether or not it's a function by doing the vertical line test on the picture. On to video three if you need it.